Hey guys. I have a lot of work to do today. It's a busy, busy day. So um, I figured I would hop on in case anybody wants to see how the colors will come together for some of these beach tumblers that we did yesterday. Make sure I have everything set out. All right, where's all my epoxy? I feel like I was smart today. I mixed, um, well poured, measured out all of my epoxy ahead of time. I don't have anyone here to read comments, so I can't quite guarantee that I'll see um, every comment that comes across but I will do my best to answer questions for you. We have three different, four beach tumblers, three different designs that we need to get some movement on as far as waves. Um, I did a little power wash on the bubbles for this one. See a spot that I missed getting my paint off the back. And then we'll get this going. These two neon ones, we're just gonna drop inks on and have it look um, just kind of, just kind of like a ink swirl, I guess, but it's gonna be over glitter. Um, it kind of has that summer tropical feel to it. Um, I call it a neon beach, even though it doesn't quite look beachy, but no, no, it comes out pretty good. Perfect for summer, and I love summer. I know I should be doing fall, not quite there yet. <laughs> I'm working on it. I do have this wine glass prep though that I need to get my tutorial done on. It's going to be a, um, like a geode type fall themed. It's going to be pretty. I'll have the fun part of picking out all my glitters and just make a mess. Okay, so how's everyone doing? Are your kids back in school? Three of my four boys went to school today. The um, youngest will go back on Thursday. He's in first grade, so they're kind of introducing the kids by last name. So he went yesterday, he's off today and tomorrow, and then he'll be back. He'll be back there on Thursday, and then all of my kids are back on Thursday. Thank goodness. I definitely need school to happen. The first part of the slide might be boring, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to mix this together. I'm going to run down to the end and get um, epoxy on those end four. And then have to drop some yellow on two. One is going to be a tiger stripe tumbler. And I always put down my yellow glitter first. And then I seal that, add epoxy. And then I get my stripes done. It's similar to the tutorial. Well, it's exactly like a tutorial that I did on my Sippy Couture YouTube channel. It's a tiger stripe tumbler, kind of the LSU colors. And two of those I get to do with just paint. They're for guys, which should be fun. I've never done an all paint tiger stripe. So I'm kind of, I think it's gonna be fun. I'm interested to see how that's gonna come out. I found a super easy, cheap way to do those. Um, it's almost, well, it is peekaboo style. That way you don't have um, you don't have a ton of mess, and you're not trying to glitter like individual sections at a time. You just lay down your colors, lay down epoxy, put your stripes on, spray paint over, pull your stripes, and then epoxy. I mean, of course, with all the cautious steps of cleanup in between. Gary and Jack, my husband and the youngest, went out for um, for wood. So they should be coming back to the house soon from Home Depot. He makes baseball display cases. So he's gearing up for Christmas. So pretty soon some of my lives might have a saw <laughs> running away in the background somewhere. I mean, it's better than the kids fighting though. Cause summer was 
I love them, but man, pretty sure they hate each other during the summer. I always mix my epoxy with the metal stir stick first, and then I go through with a popsicle stick and really make sure all the sides are scraped and everything's mixed up really good. I'm using Speed Dry Epoxy from Mr. Knowles Glitter. And for this epoxy, it mixes really good. It's a fast setting epoxy. Um, the bubbles really do pop on their own. I always grab the torch just in case, um, but it's, I love it. I really do love it. Oh, and I have a coupon code, guys. New customers for Mr. Nola's Glitter. Your first purchase from Mr. Nola's Glitter, if you're getting um, epoxy glitters, inks, sticky sheets, decals, uh, their coupon code is SC Teresa, T E R E S A. And that's for first time buyers at Mr. Nola's Glitter. So just ask me again later what that coupon code is, and I'll be sure to um, say it again for you guys. All right, this is mixed up. All right, I gotta run down this long line and get these going. I'm gonna start at the end over there because I know that those just need epoxy, those two need glitter, and then we'll get to these. These two end ones are just getting a thin coat. This is just white spray paint, then I put yellow on top. These two will be tiger stripe tumblers. I'm putting epoxy down now, that way when I do my spray paint layer, if there's any mess with that spray paint, I can easily wipe it off with acetone and it won't affect this yellow layer. This yellow bit will still look really good and clean. I would be a little scared to try it without epoxy on this layer, just because if that purple bleeds, then it will show in this yellow and I won't be able to clean it. Should have used my Dino sponges on this one. Go through and get my epoxy down and then I'll run through with my torch. Make sure all my bubbles are out. Can't see comments from right here, so if you're asking a question, just give me a minute. I need a screen. I need a big old screen in here. This is the little unicorn ombre that we did yesterday. I did end up putting a layer of epoxy over it um, before we went to football last night. So now I'm just putting another layer on that way when I go to sand it, I'm not gonna be scuffing up any of this glitter. All the cups I did yesterday ended up getting a layer of epoxy. I also took my cup edging tool from Wicked Shimmer and I went through and trimmed off the bottom of all of these because I don't put the bottom line, not anymore. Making sure everything has a good coat on it, all this glitter is covered, I don't have any pokey bits that are really going to get in trouble when I go to sand it. Using my torch just to pop bubbles, that's also going to help level out this epoxy. It'll get it moving just a little. If you want to pop bubbles, use a torch. If you want your epoxy to move and flow, use a heat gun. The torch, to some extent, will get that epoxy to flow. Um, you just don't want to put that flame right on the epoxy. everything has a good coat it's all even like I said I 
I don't do the bottom of my tumblers anymore, but I do take my epoxy and where it's trimmed off, I make sure I go I'm sure I go super close. I'll show you on the beach ones as I get closer down there. my cup edging tool I've trimmed off the bottom so now whenever I do the epoxy I'll take it and I'll make sure it's going right to this crack and resealing that at the bottom all right these two are getting glitter this is going to be the glitter tiger stripe peekaboo it's going to be LSU themed so purple and yellow and then this one is going to be really fun. This is going to be a leopard baseball mom tumbler. Softball. Leopard softball mom tumbler. And I'm using what's in the very bottom of my bucket for this epoxy. You don't need a lot of epoxy for this. It's just enough to get it to stick. Just to get that glitter to stick. So I'm going to use my torch to make sure this one is evenly coated. I saw a few spots that missed. And I don't like when there's too much epoxy around that bottom rim where it builds up a bubble. So I'll break some of that and put it on that end one. All right, spread this out. All I'm doing right now is getting my epoxy smooth on my tumbler. And making sure I don't have any um, ripples in it. That way when I drop my glitter, you won't be able to see any streaks. I have a little hack for doing that part. I'll show you guys. All of these tumblers were done with Mr. Nola's glitter and these two are gonna get Mr. Noel's glitter as well. All right. Tomorrow night I'm doing a live on my Sippy Couture page. It's gonna be shared in Sippy Couture community, a Facebook group that we do lives, giveaways, um, some coupon codes, and a lot of special announcements on there. And it's also going to be shared in the Mr. Nola's Glitter group. I'm going to be doing a school themed Tumblr, guys. So please head on over to Facebook and like that. Follow our group. I have so much stuff that I picked up over at TumblrCon and Tumblr Palooza, so I'm making little grab bags. I think what I'm going to do is just during live, just get a grab bag and mail it to someone. I mean, I got a lot of stuff, and I don't want it to go to waste. All right, so what I'm doing here is I put my epoxy down, and I'm sorry y'all are so far away. But I put my epoxy down. There's a few streaks from where I was trying to smooth it with my hand. So what I do is I take my glove and I pull it tight right there where there's no wrinkles in it. And then I take the palm of my hand and pat it over my tumbler. What that does is it creates um, kind of a textured look into your epoxy. And then when you add a heat gun or torch, it's easier for those little ripples to even out than if you have kind of a big old streak from your hand that you're trying to get to even out. Get rid of this mess. <clears throat> We're gonna get the glitter on here and then we'll start on the waves for those beach ones. This yellow one is all Moon Pie Jr. It's a really, really pretty yellow. It's a fine glitter, so you definitely want to make sure that you don't have any streaks in your epoxy whenever you drop this one, because you will be able to see it. I 
And I'm really sorry again if I'm missing anyone's comments. I just can't see them from this direction. All right, I'm gonna get a good bit of glitter on here. I'm gonna tap it off. And then what I like to do is let it spin a few times. And then I'll go through and start at the top again and drop more glitter. That way if there's any parts where that epoxy was a little heavy, it'll soak it all in evenly. If you're ever glittering tumblers and you notice that there's a spot where um, your glitter looks wet or it's laid flat, it's because there was more epoxy in that section than in the others and it just soaked in all that glitter. Um, a good thing to do to get kind of get rid of that is to just add glitter on top and at some point, depending on how thick it is, um, at some point it will it'll fall right. I need to get some of those, um, so you know whenever you get like medicine jars, they have those little bags that like stop the moisture in there. I had some glitter one time that was, um, it had to be moisture in it because it was just kind of clumpy. And I put one of those in there just from an empty medicine bottle and it soaked up all that moisture. My glitter wasn't clumpy anymore. It just like fell perfect. And it looks like I'm at the point where I'm gonna have to do this with me, with, uh, this moon pie that I have. I'm really sorry, I'm so far away from you guys. I need turners like this. My husband made these. Thanks. My husband made these. Every time I came around to um, doing cups, I needed more turners, so he just ended up doing it all for me. All right, so this one is going to be softball on this side, um, twin span from Mr. Noel's glitter, and this back part is going to be the gold for the leopard that we'll put down later. I'm gonna drop twin span first, that way my yellow, I mean the gold glitter doesn't kind of get in the way of it. And what I'm doing, hopefully you can see this. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm dropping it kind of on an angle that way. That way it falls into that gold. Okay, you see how that yellow dropped? It kind of fell down towards that gold and that will take care of that ombre falling. Do the same thing in the other direction. And it's going on an angle, so I'm kind of holding this cup at that angle. And then I'll fill in this middle part. I had a neon yellow paint that was really, really good. And it ran out and I grabbed another um, neon. And I don't know, it wasn't as vibrant as that first one. So we'll see how this one comes out after. that down and then we'll cover that with the gold. I would have never thought that neon yellow, like a highlight yellow and gold would be so pretty together, but after doing a few softball mom tumblers, I know they work together really well. Especially once you get like that black down for the leopard. This is gonna have a mom bun on the yellow side, so it's gonna be super cute. And I'm dropping the gold. This is a mix of golds that I have from Mr. Knowles Glitter. I took uh, my favorite golds and just kind of combined them into one bucket. What I would do is whenever I did glitters and I had a bunch like kind of dump cup, I would dump cup in colors. And after I did that a few times, there were a few colors I paid attention that were going in there, and it made the prettiest mix. I started keeping that as a custom mix. Every once in a while, I'll have to go through and remake that mix, and it's slightly off, but you get some really pretty colors that way. the yellow and gold 
thanks. <laughs> it's a it's a lot of work. So that's the um, what I say. This one is twin span, and this back is the mix of gold. Look how pretty that is. Cordelia is the one that gives this such a pretty pretty sparkle. I'm gonna get a piece of parchment paper. I know that once I get to putting the waves on those, by the time I get to this, it's gonna be a little past time to lay down this glitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my parchment paper now and lay down the gold. How do you sand the rim on the hydros? Um, so I take my knife and I trim the top. Um, let me put this way and I'll show you. I feel like it's so easier for me to show things at times. Okay, so what I do is I tape off this section right here. And then I have, let me put it right here because right here the color is just weird. Um, the lighting's weird right there. So what I do is I tape off this section and then whenever I bring my glitter and everything, I bring it right up to this edge right here. So after that's um, up to the edge and everything right here is uh, somewhat cured, I remove that tape and then I'll take my razor and I'll just kind of go on an angle like this and that will trim off that first top right there. It will clean off that top rim so I trim that down and then whenever I'm sanding, I make sure that everything from here and down is sanded. That way I have that smooth edge, but that's just how I do it. Um, I don't have any paint that goes right here on this inside lip. Um, it stopped right along this line and you'll see a clean knife line of where I kind of rotate it in a circle. I have a cup. Okay, so this one isn't glittered, but I can definitely show you a little better on this if it helps. So um, let's just act like all this is glittered and the final coat is done. So I'll then remove this tape and I use electrical tape. Um, I feel like I get a better grip with it. It's stuck to my hand. I get a better grip with it um, and it comes off easier. And whenever you forget to pull your tape for electrical tape, if you use your heat gun just a little, you can kind of soften up that epoxy just to the point where the tape releases. Um, and the stretch that the tape has, it helps. So what I do is I take it and then I'll go around like this. If you can, let me grab a different knife. It's hard to do on this angle. All right, well, I'll just trim it kind of around like that. And if you can see how the paint is kind of coming off right there, whenever you're doing this with epoxy and a really, really sharp craft knife, it comes, I wasn't even in frame, goodness it comes clean, like it comes really clean. So I'll just take it and I'll just keep going around like that. And what it will do is it'll clean off a little rim of where that glitter and epoxy goes. And then from there, I'll take my acetone that's on the other side of the room. And then I'll wipe that down. This paint has been on here forever. I was supposed to do this tumbler for a friend um, last Christmas, guys. How horrible is that? Last Christmas. It's an easy design. It has to be half football, half baseball. I just, um, I don't know. I want my football to look football and I haven't quite figured out a way to make that happen. So I'm stalling. All right, so you take your knife and you trim it around like that. And then you see how you get that super crisp line right there? Here we go, that's a better angle. You get that super crisp line and that's how it's cleaned up. So all of my glitter and epoxy will go up to this edge right here. It doesn't cross that. When it does, I just trim it down with a really sharp knife and it'll get that really clean edge to it, if that helps. All right, so now we get to do, oh, I need parchment paper. All right, for any type of chunky glitter, take parchment paper and just lay it down on top. And that will get all of that glitter to lay down so you won't have any issues with it. Put 
The green glitter on which one? Right in front of the uh, east one. This one? Um, I don't have a green glitter on my shelf. Beside the, the, beside the candle one. Um, this one? Um, if you're talking about this one, this is Twin Span. It's a neon yellow. That's why I was like, green? This is a neon yellow uh, Twin Span from Mr. Knowles Glitter. It does look green? Okay. You know what would be interesting? If that looks green like that, um, it kind of has like this hollow um hollow look to it so i wonder if we did a neon green to neon yellow i bet you that would really transition those colors really great all right put that in here yeah, hi cat what you doing girl this cat's gonna come hang out with me tomorrow yay lime color okay yeah so that would be this one, but it isn't lime, it's a neon yellow. It's called Twin Span for Mr. Nola's Glitter. And again, I have a coupon code for first time buyers for Mr. Nola's Glitter. It's SC Teresa, T E R E S A. So SC stands for Sippy Couture and dash Teresa. And I think that's like 15% or something. Um, I'd have to double check. I think that's like 15% off, which is great. All right, I need to add a little more to that one. I believe it's 15%. It's funny, I can always tell which epoxy I poured last, even if I don't measure my cups because B, um, and this is speed dry epoxy, whenever you're pouring this epoxy, um, stop pouring part B just before you're even, just before you get even with it. Um, so they're redoing a few things. Um, it's not gonna be set coupon codes. We're gonna do special coupon codes, like special events. So we have one right now for first time buyers for Mr. Knowles Glitter, and then a box that I'm doing tomorrow. Um, the live that I'm doing tomorrow is going to have a coupon code for, but I'm not telling you guys that until we get to that live. All right, let's combine these. It's kind of hard for um, companies, for all companies, to do coupon code sometimes because even though it's nice, it kind of it's hard when everyone has a discount. Um, and this is just me speaking from having a business because we're on Etsy. And I get people asking me all the time for, um, for coupon codes. And it's tough because we run this out of our house. I make tumblers. My husband does custom display cases. And it's almost tough when there's a coupon code for everything because since we are such a small business, um, I don't know, it makes it tough. Let's see. Do you build your own turners? My husband did. Yes, I started off with just one little turner that he took off the barbecue pit um, one day. <laughs> one day. I told that story yesterday. It was pretty funny. Um, he came home and I was like hand turning a cup while I was cooking dinner. Um, really, really not advised, guys. Bad idea. So um, after that, he made me a few turners. And as I got more orders, um, we just needed a few turners. So now I have this. I have one more set of six that is built, um, but it's not up here, which I kind of love because I have the option of if I need to hurry up and throw more on for a big order, I can put that on. <laughs> you finally got these stir sticks. I love these stir sticks. So Etsy is really, really easy. Etsy is really easy. The, um, there's a few things I found out about them that I'm not completely in love with. Um, I love that they do all the advertising and that people are already there looking for stuff. I mean, if every, if anyone needs anything, you automatically run to Etsy and look around. So I love that everyone's already going there shopping and getting for things. And I don't have to advertise. I don't have to pay for advertisement. They do have an extra option for advertisement. We shut that off because I think they take like 
a pretty good chunk of change, a good percent. I don't know how much, but a really good percent that would hurt us um, if they took it from every order that they advertised for. So I turned off that option. Their fees, um, a lot of people don't like um, Etsy because of their fees, but to be honest with you, if you price your products and that fee is worked into your pricing, it, um, it all works out. I think a lot of times people don't like the fees or it takes away too much money because they don't quite account for fees when they're doing their pricing. You gotta account for that. Um, if you're paying a fee for anything, credit card fee, any type of extra cost, you need to pass that along. By the time it breaks down through, you know, however many orders or products, it all equals out and it's not like you're charging one customer, you know, a $10 fee or something. You know, it breaks down even if it's two cents over time, it's going to break down. So I think that's kind of the one thing where a lot of people say they don't like Etsy because of their fees, but at the same point, they may not have worked it into their pricing, right? Yeah, we turned off those extra ones. Gary, do you remember the fee? Do you, you all know how much that fee was? It was a lot. Like it was a percent and I was like, holy moly. Especially if you're not aware that those fees are on and they advertise on Pinterest and you get an order for Pinterest. It is taken out. But no, we build all those fees in. Oh, thanks. I'm happy you found me too. <laughs> no, I just need to know your name. That doesn't come out weird. I, I think I said it yesterday. Like it's tough because I know that I have, I've made so many friends through this Tumblr community and they're on the Civic Couture community group. They're, you know, I see them on Nola's group and a few other groups that I'm in, and it's so great to be able to talk to them, but it's tough whenever you switch to um, TikTok and you don't have, um, you know, it's not the same photo or the same name. Oh, it's a little tough. Yay, congrats on your Etsy shop. It's exciting, it's really exciting. And like I say, if you price everything right and if your fees are built in, um, it's great. It is great. I love Etsy. One of the things that I'm going to tell you about, um, do not do copyright. Do not post copyright. If there's, I mean, anything guys, especially those, uh, network marketing companies do not like I'm saying, don't do any copyright. Do not have it on your Etsy. They will take your money. They, um, we got a nice little fine this year, probably TMI to share, but we got a nice little find this year. I did a 31 tumbler. Um, probably can't even say that. And I don't know, they weren't too happy. So um, they will take the necessary actions to uh, to protect copyright infringement. So if you have an Etsy shop, I'm strongly, strongly suggesting that you do not do that. Um, I don't do tutorials regarding Etsy on the Facebook group. Um, We've been on Etsy since 2019, and I've learned a lot of stuff, but I don't feel confident enough to give advice on someone else's platform, if that makes sense. Um, I don't even want to talk about that company, but it's a, uh, it's a bad place for the numbers that you just gave. It's a bad place. It's funny, I started to say that, and Gary's in the other room, and he went, uh-uh. Like, uh-uh, don't even say it. Don't mention it. I mean, they have really cute stuff, but no go. Network nar network marketing, no go. Oh, it's okay. Don't apologize. It's not like you knew. Don't apologize, girl. All right, so I am mixing this up, and this is where I'm going to have to move fairly quickly. Um, and then I have to show you all this paint that I have. I have an idea for a tumbler. And I've this black paint that I have been holding on to, and it is amazing. So after I get this down, I'm gonna show off that paint. And I don't have any type of affiliation or code or anything with that paint. It's just, it's just amazing and kind of self selfish if I don't share. All right, those, everything except for dinner. <laughs> I don't want to make dinner. Don't tell Gary. Um. I am, I have to put movement on these four. This needs to be along the lines, I gotta get this um, epoxy on a cup. Along the lines of this, 
Ooh, nervous. Um, I've told the lady that it's um, it's gonna be be open-minded, and she's up for it. So that's gonna get all these to get in movement. This is gonna get kind of um, alcohol inks dropped on it to give just layers of the same color over the groups. Uh, the next one is getting full waves, uh, just a beach swirl. And then that will be all for epoxy for a bit. I'll start a tutorial today also. I want to, um, on a fall tumbler that I can't wait to, I keep knocking this over, that I'm really excited to do. And people have been asking, you've been asking for this geo that I did, so... Um, it's where paints are wiped away, not like the glitter's dropped in sections. And I've been getting a few requests for that, so. I'll be excited to get that one going. And the colors I have pulled are going to be so pretty. That tutorial will be listed on my Sippy Couture YouTube page. Until I figure out, well, if or until. And I don't know how to save things on here. Like, I don't think I can save these videos, but what I understand is that once they're done, they're done. Which is almost kind of fun, because if I decide to do some type of coupon code or giveaway, like, only the people hanging out that time can watch. and can get it, which, I don't know. Something is kind of fun about that. Uh, do I do this one? What do I do? Um, 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 um. Yes. Too much stuff in my way. I'll um, tilt my camera in a second. That should work for those. Need my heat gun. putting down a layer of epoxy first that way whenever I drop my inks and glitters they can move around I do have one design that I do that I do not add any epoxy down ahead of time because I don't want those inks to run into each other and that one's really that one comes out neat um, there's a tutorial on that one on my YouTube page also and it's a shark tumbler make sure all these went even I mean, I don't know if you can tell from the angle that you guys are looking at, but there's no bubbles. Like, there aren't any bubbles in this epoxy that I spread out. I love it. I feel like that's a th one of the really big things that I love about Mr. Nola's Speed Dry Epoxy is that when you don't have to worry about bubbles, because a lot of times I do tumblers and then I have to run to baseball or football now <laughs> or something. And if I forget to torch it real quick, I don't ha I don't worry about bubbles. Like, I don't know. Not something I have an issue with. All right. Need one more cup. Stepping on wires. All right, so I have some micas in these. It is a navy blue, a royal blue, and a teal. I'm separating that into these little cups. Okay, 
it's so weird mixing all this right here. I usually do it on like the other side of my room. It's crazy how like little things can throw you off. Oh, I can? Maybe I'll have to do that. I didn't even think about that. I need to learn how to screen record too. I should probably throw that out there. <laughs> my kids, um, my second to oldest Madden, he showed me one time. And then, I don't know, I forgot. I think it was that I couldn't get it to go again. Like, I don't know what the problem was, but I couldn't get it to go back to it. All right, so I'm gonna start with this one because that's what I'm gonna be messing with the most. And I can't have these epoxies, these cups of epoxy uh, cure on me. So I'm gonna start with this one. And then I'll go that one and then that one because those are just dropping inks. And this is all done with speed dry. Get my white. I have an iPad. I know. Um, sorry, I don't have an iPad. I have an iPhone. This is all on my iPhone. I need to get an iPad. I was talking to my husband about that yesterday because it's tough to um to see comments like on this little screen as it's recording. see that my husband is uh, answering. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start dropping this. See my husband's answering questions, so thanks, babe. <laughs> you don't need to cut? You can go cut. All right, so I'm adding this navy blue and kind of this navy blue section, and I'm kind of just wiggling it through with my popsicle stick. Wait for it to come around. And I extend it a little over there. And I extend it towards the top. One of the big things, um, next I'm doing my royal blue and I'm going to put that in the section between. One of the big things I'll definitely tell you whenever you're doing this on this kind of swirl tumbler is that as you're dropping these um, kind of layers of epoxy, kind of do a little swooshy like that like swooshy movement on it because whenever you drop your inks what will happen is that your inks will run into those grooves um, instead of it kind of running in a circle like you can control the way your inks flow whenever we drop alcohol ink because that is going in here also so I'm gonna make sure I tie all those colors together I know this looks funky but this is um, just one little layer of depth that goes on here and then I'm doing this teal. I think it's called blue green is the actual color of it. And um, this is, I'll have to see who it's by. It's a little tube. They just started carrying this brand at um, Mr. Nola's. And they have so many colors. They're really pretty. Like it packs a lot of punch. Okay, I'm gonna put a lot of that there. And then I'm gonna drop a little of this blue across the sky. And there are a few spots with like a little darker, so I'll drop that in. I feel like it always looks like such a mess, but it plays itself off later. <coughs> done with that one. I'm done with that navy. Yes, I'm using Mr. Nola Speed Dry Epoxy. Um, first time customers, the coupon code for first time customers, I believe it's 15% off. It is SC 
dash Teresa, T E R E S A. I'm gonna mix it in, this in really quick so it can flow. So I'm just kind of squiggling my hand over it just to soften some of these lines and give it some movement. I just want a little of a cloudy look to go across. And covering some of this right here, this peach, is going to be some, um, I don't know what they're called, but that beach grass. It's going to have that look to it. All right, so now we're going to drop this white. Oh, let me go across this one real quick with the white. And I'm just doing a little along this water line. Okay, and then we'll go in a little right here. I did power wash over this blue one. Um, I'm not that great at making cells, to be honest with you guys. Every once in a while, I accidentally do it um, with heat, um, but I'm not all that great with it. I haven't exactly figured that part out. So I find that if you put down a layer of power wash and then do kind of waves and movement over it, those little bits and bubbles of power wash really play it off. So it almost looks like cells, but without actually having to um, do those, which is a good cheat. And I'm not proud of myself for cheating. <laughs> I wish I just knew how to create amazing cells. Unfortunately, I haven't, I haven't done that yet. Okay, we are done with that. Are we done with that white? Yes. All right, actually, I think these two. They're a little white over this. I feel like I um, definitely want to ask if you guys find that these lives help you. Let me switch this live. Because I do not mind jumping on and doing these lives. Um, I'm home doing these all the time. So it's kind of gives me something to do to be able to talk to people. And if it helps, I definitely don't mind. Ooh, maybe it was a mistake taking that glove off just now because I can't get this one on right. Oh, no. My gloves are already tight and taking that one off and trying to put on with a sweaty hand was probably not smart. Huh? I don't think the paper towel will help me like powder or something. This is fine though. <laughs> Funky little glove. All right. So we're going with this um, denim is this color. Take off all the lids now. This is sailboat blue possibly. This is mermaid. I have my little silicone tool and some acetone. No, and some alcohol. I feel like my arm got sticky at some point and I just keep tapping it against my Dino shirt. I ruined my shirt on day one. Okay, yeah, if that helps, I definitely will. I mean, a lot of, not a lot of time, but there might be times where I might be able, might not be able to really see the thing or talk. Not until I get this figured out. Not until Gary gets this figured out, <laughs> I should say. But I definitely don't mind getting on here and helping. Um, there's a ton of different tumblers that I do. And I know sometimes it's easy to be able to ask questions and see it firsthand for help. All right, so I'm dropping this denim right here on this navy part. 
and I'm moving it through really funky. Like if you can see how it looks right now, it looks really, really funky. Um, this is speed dry epoxy, so it definitely wants to set in place. But one of the things that I love is putting on my colors really intentionally. Um, I put a lot, a lot of times when I'm doing beach tumblers, I drop those colors in certain spots and I don't like for them to move. So this works out perfect for me. All right, now I have, I, this might be sailboat blue or sapphire. It's gonna be one of those two. Um, it's a little messy, so I can't see. So I'm dropping this halfway into the turquoise, that teal, and halfway into the navy. And you can see how I drop it and it kind of lands in, um, in some of these grooves that I created. That way it doesn't really run into the white. It's okay if it does. It's easy enough to clean. Like, see how that is? We can pull that through and you can also scoop it out. So it isn't a big deal if that happens. We still have more work to do to it anyway. All right, wipe that off. And now we're going with Mermaid. So we're really gonna drop Mermaid into this line. And you wanna be sure you're pulling that Mermaid through the white. You want it to look kind of mixed up like that white water, like the white waves took on some of that Mermaid color. So drop that and let that kind of run into different areas. Like see how that is, that flat line? I'm gonna kind of mix it through so it pulls and looks like the waves kind of washing that blue water around more. And you can see it, there's a lot of texture in here. Like you can see how it's almost wavy looking. What we'll do is I'll hit that with the torch to kind of smooth it out. And then the rest, I'll just leave with that texture because it gives depth. It gives like a really cool bit of depth to it. And then when it's time for, um, for tomorrow or later on today after this sits for a bit, I will definitely make sure that I put a layer of epoxy on to fill in those holes before I do any sort of decal. Like I will not put my decal over that. It's too bumpy. It's not going to look great. All right, where's my torch? I'm using my torch instead of a heat gun because I don't want this to move a lot. Um, if I get my heat gun and blast it with the heat gun, the whole thing is just gonna start running and I like the way I laid my waves. So I don't want them to move. I just wanna soften up some of those ridges so it's not um, so difficult to work later when I go and add the epoxy for a decal. That's weird, so we're gonna move that. And then we're gonna add kind of white caps in a minute. I have to move this ugly part. Like this right here, that's weird. So we're gonna pick that up and we're gonna move it right here. The only thing I'll tell you is that whenever you're moving it, don't drag across your cup because you'll have a big weird line. Just um, kind of pull it, like lift it up and move it on an angle. That way, if you do get kind of a stringy bit of epoxy, it isn't just, you know, randomly sideways on your cup. All right, so now we have this white. We're gonna drop this on, let's see, I will do this one first since it doesn't have that color blue on it. I'm gonna drop it and then just place it and stretch it out. I like dropping it and drop it like off to the side of your cup because if it drips, you're gonna get a big old white spot on your cup. So I like dropping it on my silicone tool and then transferring it. What is that? I have a fuzzy. And then from here, you can kind of create more with this white ink. Hopefully y'all can see some of the detail that it puts in because it kind of, the way this white alcohol ink mixes in, it really looks awesome. Give that a little movement and stretch out the colors. If you have a glob, just stretch it out. This is the way that I created cells on accident that time. It looked really cool. It was like all washed up and I was like, I did it. And then I wasn't able to do it again. All right, let's soften some of these up. 
The thing that I definitely do is that if it's getting too thick, whenever I'm scraping, I'll remove some of the um, epoxy if it's too thick, if there's too much white, because I still want that glitter to show through. Like I don't want to completely cover up that glitter. So if you just take it and kind of uh, twist your thing on an angle, um, if it's like one of these flat ones, kind of twist it on an angle as you're pulling it, it'll be really cool. It'll, um, it'll kind of like show that glitter in like different angled um, think about it as if you took a Sharpie and you were writing with a Sharpie flat and then you cut it on an angle when you were writing and it kind of like goes thick to thin. That's how the glitter will show through those waves. It'll be thick and then it'll cut to a little thin part. And as you're moving it, it will show kind of like, like a zoop of glitter. <laughs> I'll explain that. I put some on here since I don't have the blue and I'm going to do the same thing. If you're using a regular setting epoxy for this, your work time will be longer. Um, like I said, I'm using speed dry, so it's all gonna set a bit quicker for me. to add it to the white here and I'll do the same thing I'm dropping it on an angle like put it down and then kind of just insert it on an angle and pull it through don't chase your cup wait for it to come around If you get to where you can tell that the epoxy is starting to set, then you can use your heat, um, your torch and add a little, just a tiny bit of heat to it and that will help it kind of soften to where you can stretch that color again. You can see where we dropped all of those colors on an angle and it held. This room is really dark. I just looked at this um, my phone and I don't know how you guys can see what I'm doing. Unless you can't, then in that case, I'm really sorry. All right, so now we're getting to these. I'm gonna start with my purple. I'm doing purple, pink, and teal. So I'm gonna get rid of this one, this one, this one. And this will be similar to kind of all those lives that you see where people are just dropping inks. Um, you no, know, similar to just dropping it on there, but I don't know. I don't drop it and let it go all weird. Um, no offense to anyone. I just want them to sort of stay a little more separate. Yeah, so I always um, base coat ombre with acrylic paint whenever I'm doing um, any type of tumbler. I always base, base coat my tumbler white, and then I will base coat it in the color that close to what the glitter will be. Need to get some heat on these. Might have to just drop things on here and then use my finger because it's a bit wider than this brush that I'm trying to work with. I'll do that because I kind of want them to go all right I'm dropping pink a little lower I've only done them with dropping inks on this like a few times. This is not one of those methods that I really use. I like to have it a little more controlled, but I think the timing is kind of calling for this right now. All right, I'm gonna mix in the purples with my glove that isn't fitting. the 
this off and then I'll get into, I need a different glove. Let me get into these pinks. I need a brighter pink. That pink isn't making me happy. Try this one. There we go. That's more of it. There's a few spots on here that look ugly, but we're gonna fix those because I can't let it stay like that. We're mixing the pinks into the purples with your finger. My finger, not yours. All right, I must have to switch to blue. I'm gonna work on moving it on this one section and then I'll extend it into the pink. So similar to how everybody drops inks on the TikTok lives, but um, not so overlapping for this. One of the things that I'm doing with this is as I'm um, mixing in these colors, I'm kind of digging down with my fingernail to create um, kind of gaps of where that color is. So you'll have, you know, strips of blue or waves of blue, but it's also kind of, um, you'll see big streaks of glitter through it. I have to pull that paint down a little because it just goes weird and stops. I halfway feel like I'm talking to myself. Doing great. <laughs> Thanks, babe. All right, from here, you can kind of adjust where that color goes if you want the pink and purples to go more. Notice that there's a lot of pink in this section, and I kind of think I want to bring it up. So I'm gonna find spots that might need a little more pink and pull it. Stick in. There you go, that's a bit more of a blend. for you guys because <laughs> I feel like it is a mess all right let me see if I can get this white and blue to go together but I don't want any other colors let me clean off this little silicone guy um I dropped my colors for this for this one I dropped my colors in an ombre um, with glitter and then I just put, um, I just dropped the inks on kind of in sections. Is this the one you're talking about? I didn't, um, I didn't divide them up and drop sections at a time. I ombre all the colors together. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking this blue and I'm kind of wiggling this blue into the white. That way, it, um, when you look at the white, it kind of appears as some of those waves have been whipped up in with the blue. Okay, and then the next part I'm gonna do is easy, it's super easy. I'm gonna go through these and make sure 
they don't have any spots where my ink landed as a blob and it didn't finish flowing. You know, like if it popped down, if it didn't pull in a direction, I'm gonna pull it real quick. Um, and I'm gonna add white, where's my white? I just saw a spot that could use it. Oh no, y'all should see the mess that I have. It's bad. Uh, what about the blue one? Um, the blue beach one on an angle? Yeah. That was ombre as well. That wasn't dropped in sections. I spray painted my tumbler. There was a few spots in this one that I um that I was on that I noticed didn't have like any type of good white thick wave movement. So I'm adding that real quick. Um I did the same thing. I took spray paint, I spray painted these I did acrylic, but this one I spray painted um navy, teal gold and then i ombre my glitters on an angle add a little more into here and like i said now i'm just focusing on any parts that look like weird like that like how it goes up i'm gonna kind of pull that through and tie side extends and kind of makes sense a little more if it, um, when this all is done, if it still looks weird, that's where the name is going to go. All right, and then a soft spot right here. You see how this blob just kind of falls? Like it's too white right there. I'm going to stretch that out. I'm at the point where we probably can't mess with them anymore. Because like I said, I am using uh, Mr. Nola's Speed Dry Epoxy. And that stuff, I love it, man. It sets, oh. Uh, I mean, my work time is pretty much done. You have about 20 minutes work time. Um, I think I get a little more out of that, just kind of being used to working with it. I really feel like I get more than 20 minutes of work time with it. Um, but it cures like two, three hours, depending on where you are. It cures fairly quick. And then I could actually, if I wanted to, I could actually go through and sand this in three hours and then go in with another coat. I won't though. I'm not sanding over these inks because since there wasn't a ton of epoxy, they're somewhat fresh to the surface. And if you go sand this, you're gonna sand off some of those inks. So these will sit for three hours and then I'll do another layer of speed dry. And then I'll go ahead and um, take them out to the garage, sand them and um, this is just a silicone tool. I think I got these um, maybe from Amazon I'm not quite sure. I've had these for a while, but it's just a silicone, silicone brushes. Everything I get, whenever I'm, um, whenever I need something, or I'm out of something, I buy everything from Mr. Nola's glitter though. So if you don't see them on Amazon, definitely check there. They pretty much have everything. Get all of these. All right. I get to show you all this black paint I'm excited about. It is amazing. I have to wipe down all this stuff, get my lids on. I feel like the hardest part about working with alcohol inks is putting the right lid on. <laughs> There's a ton of them where you look at the inside and I'm like, is that blue? Is it? Like, I can't even tell. That looks teal and I've already gave it a teal. Like that is the hardest part of working with inks. I know, look, like this one. I mean, I'm down to two lids. Something's got to be white. None of them have white in it. Have you done a YouTube tutorial with the white caps and waves? Yeah, so I have a YouTube tutorial on this one. It's on Sippy Couture. Uh, that's the name of my YouTube channel. And I actually did this whole thing on a YouTube. There's a full tutorial on that. Please be kind to my tutorials. Um, <laughs> still trying to figure out. I'm short. Like, how am I? Here we go. I say, how am I missing a lid? Um, I'm, I love helping. Um, I get pretty excited and I, I try to keep them not crazy long for tutorials. Um, and I'm still, I don't quite know how to edit fully, to be honest with you guys. Um, I, and I hate learning new things. I'm a little crazy with that. So it's tough to, um, to kind of take an extra minute and sit there and learn some stuff when I still have so many other things to do. Like I 100% try to do too many things. All right, I'm gonna put this aside and then we're gonna show you all this black paint. I 
have an idea. I have a really, really good idea for this um, tumbler that I'm doing. All right, we have to move these. Where am I gonna put them? Unscrew it. Oh goodness. Oh no. Okay, well that one's not moving. <laughs> that one doesn't want to come off. Um, thanks. I try to. I try to explain it. I feel like, like when I first, goodness. Oh my lordy. Okay. When I first started out, it was tough to kind of um, figure things out. No, I got it. It was a little tough figuring things out. And um, I think it was like 2019 when I started. And it was so new that there wasn't a lot of people willing to share yet. Like it definitely isn't like the community we have now. So um, I was kind of stuck trying to figure out a lot on my own. And now it's like, just help. Like, just help me. <laughs> so I kind of have that approach for everyone else. Like, I'll, I'll just tell you. Like, ask me what the secret is and I will tell you. I don't care. I don't mind. It's um, kind of silly to keep it all. There's enough. There's way enough business out there for everyone. Um, it's silly to keep it to myself. All right, I'm bathing in alcohol real quick. <laughs> Okay guys, this black paint. Let me get a paintbrush. All right. I'm unbelievably excited about this black paint. So this is called Black 3.0. And it just got stuck. Let me wipe this down. Um, ooh. wipe all this down real quick this black 3.0 guys it is amazing it's from culture culture hustle oh it's tough to say um i don't have any type of code with them they didn't ask me to do this i didn't tell them i was going to do this um i just love this paint and there's no reason i shouldn't share this with you like it is selfish of me not to share this paint with you so um goodness am i just sticky everywhere You may have too much epoxy. Um, whenever that happens and your epoxy pulls back from the top, you may have too much epoxy around the top. So try putting, um, try putting less. The wood look guitar tumblers. I haven't done, I've done a wood grain, but I haven't made it look like a guitar. All right guys, this black paint. It's called Black 3.0. It's from Culture Hustle watch this guys like oh my goodness i can't even i can't even describe it like it can't be put into words look at that so i put my spray paint was weird coming out of the can so i may have put two coats of black spray paint on this tumbler just because my spray paint was coming out all sketchy so there's maybe two but it is two very funky layers of spray paint and then what I'm gonna do is for this black 3.0, I'm gonna do three full layers of this. I'm gonna do this first one. Look at that, look at the difference. And it's not because it's wet, guys. Like this is not because this stuff is wet. Um, it looks like velvet, it dries, and it is like it messes with my brain. And once you get all of it on there, the streaks, um, I have painted with some rough brushes with this stuff, and the streaks go away. Like you can't tell with your epoxy. wipe this all the way through thin layers are best and by what they described with this paint is that it was made to absorb light um, a lot of paints reflect light this was made to absorb it and guys it's crazy it is black it is insane so this is one that I did yesterday um, it is messy <laughs> it's pretty messy right now I need to clean it I need to sand it I have a really really good idea for both of these um, but I need to go through and sand it. It has my fingerprints all on it. This does have epoxy on it. This has one layer of epoxy. Uh, without epoxy, it looks velvet. Yeah, this is one with epoxy. Same tumbler. This is three, not same tumbler, uh, three coats. I haven't tried their white. I haven't. Someone, um, someone has tried their white and they showed it to me and it looked amazing, but I haven't tried it yet. Is it really that great? 
I mean, it has to be. Like, if this is what their black is, their white has to be amazing. I'll be excited to try their white. And then their silver, it's supposed to be like super. Okay, so that, um, whoever says mattifying it, um, stay tuned. <laughs> I will be posting it. I will be posting it because um, this one will be matte. I'm trying something. I don't even know if it's going to work. Like, either I'm going to try it, it's going to be amazing, and I'm going to show you guys, or, and everyone's going to be like, oh my god, that's so cool, or I'm going to try it and share it, and we will all be like, yeah, that didn't work, did it? Like, no, I would normally let this just dry on its own, but I got to show you guys. Can you, like, can you see how black that is? That, it's crazy. I wish I had another black tumbler. Oh, I do. Okay, pause, please. Okay, this is black spray paint. A little bit of dust, I'm trying to wipe off the dust. <laughs> this is black spray paint, no epoxy. This is black, one coat of black 3.0 over black spray paint. Same black spray paint, one coat of black 3.0. And if you think it's the glare, we can switch this to the other side. Like, goodness guys, the difference. This is insane. I hear my husband laughing at me. I'm not sure why. No, not at all. Well, that's what they said. Like, this is made to absorb the light, and the other blacks just kind of reflect it. Um, and this was a matte black spray paint that I used. This is not a gloss spray paint. It, like, absorbed. I know. Oh, my goodness. Could you see this with just a bold gold vinyl? This paint is called Black 3.0. And it's from Culture Hustle usa.com I believe that's I believe that's accurate I'm gonna do another coat and like I said all the streaks go away all of the streaks completely go away under epoxy um, I always definitely make sure that it's a good even coat like, if you see streaks and you can see a lighter color black between the streaks, then I will go with another layer. But as far as it being streaky from my paintbrush, um, I've left them like that and I haven't had an issue once epoxy hit it. How long does the bottle last? Um, this, I've had this for possibly a year. Um, I've, goodness, I've done a lot of cups with these. Um, with this black paint, this may be, I don't know, my 12th cup or so. And there's still a bit of paint in it. I'm probably like that much. And you don't need a lot of it. I feel like I always go too aggressive with the paint. You don't need probably as much as I'm doing, but I'm just heavy handed. All right, so I have it all the way. Whatever I do whenever I'm painting is I, um, I go, and I do this a lot with Tacket. I will drop it straight up and down, and then I'll move it all sideways, and then I'll move it up and down one more time to be sure. Once any type of acrylic paint starts to dry, if you continue to wipe it, you're going to start pulling off paint. Um, if you're wiping wet paint, you're going to pull off some of that dry paint. So you have to know when to stop. Which is that point. It's been a lot. Like, it's been a lot of tumblers done with that. It's just crazy. Just because I'm impatient, I want to show you guys. Again, this paint is from Culture Hustle. It's called Black 3.0, but all of my glitters are from Mr. Nola's Glitter. And um, I said this earlier, but if you want a coupon code to Mr. Nola's Glitter, the first time purchase, that coupon code for your first purchase is SC-Teresa, T-E-R-E-S-A. 
I don't want to do too much heat and have this paint start being weird, so I'm going to let the rest of this just go by itself. It's so awesome. It's an amazing, amazing paint. And this one I'm going to sand down and do something with. Actually, this one I'm going to be playing with um, for the live tomorrow. There's two designs I'm going to be doing tomorrow on the live. It's going to happen at 7 p.m. Um, in the Sippy Couture community group on Facebook. And then it's also going to be shared in the Mr. Nola's Glitter group. We're going to do kind of a school teacher, um, well, school themed tumbler, I should say. Uh, and the sticky sheets that we're using for that has a lot of options as far as um, designs to it. So I'll show you an alternate design. This one we're going to use some foils on. Um, I want to do some leopard foils and I'm thinking it should be amazing. Um, I tried it on gold on gold and it didn't quite come out the way I wanted. So I'm switching to this super bold black and we're going to go leopard foils on here. And, um, and this one's going to be a surprise. I'm not giving out this one. But tomorrow's tumbler will be um, a list of supplies from Mr. Knowles Glitter. If you go to the Sippy Couture community page, uh, that list is on there. There's going to be a pack that they have available. Um, and that pack is going to come with a coupon code. And I'll let you know what that code is tomorrow during the live. But that's going to be 7 p.m. Central um, tomorrow, Wednesday. I think that's it. I think that's all my work for today. Oh, I have to do one more. I have to do one more, but I have to pull. I have to pull glitters for that. Um, maybe I'll say that for tomorrow. There's two cups that I really, really want to do tomorrow. I want to do a hand-painted flag on um, on a 40-ounce camper mug from Craft Haven. That is just an amazing mug that I'm obsessed with. So that needs to be a baseball design. So I'll do that then. But that's it, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Um, hope some of these helped you. That's um, all the ones we worked on today, including this amazing black that I need to dry before I um, impatiently go play with it. But that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Um, I'll jump on. If you guys like these lives and kind of seeing um, what I'm working with, I can answer questions and help you guys as I'm working. Uh, I'll jump on again tomorrow. Miss, my friend Miss Cat's going to be here, and she's amazing. Oh, there you are, Miss Cat. Hi, girl. Um, she'll be here, so she'll be able to say hi and read comments. <laughs> I'll put you to work, Cat. Um, but no, it's um, yay. Good. I'm happy you enjoyed it. I really want to help. So if you guys have any questions, I am here. Like I'm here, always available. So reach huh bring it in lean in for what hi oh y'all don't have to see my face um he's like see my so you can see your face you don't have to see my face this is good um <laughs> i don't know what to tell you if you want to see my face um i'll see you in person one day uh a lot of funny events are coming up guys they um they announced GlitterCon for Mr. Nola's Glitter. That's going to be next July. I'll look at you guys now. Um, GlitterCon is going to be next July, so that's really exciting. Um, 2023, and then all the dates are starting to get released for all of the other events. There's one in Illinois this year, uh, Tumblr Fest. I'm really excited about that. I know a lot of people um, up towards those areas that um, want something. They want something, and everything is so close down to the coast. Um, they don't quite have it. So um, I have the paper. Let me let me get it because I was looking at it earlier. There, Tumblr Fest. The Midwest Tumblr Fest. This is going to be in Illinois, July 13th through 16th next year. So I'm going to have this on my list, um, and hopefully a whole lot of other events to go and see you guys at. Um, I love being able to help, and if I can, um, the more I can do that, the happier I am. So. Uh, you guys have a great day, a great week. Get your kids in school because um, that's what I'm very excited about. And um, and I will see you guys soon. If y'all have any questions, real quick, if you have any questions, um, Sippy Couture Community Facebook group is where I do a bunch of lives. Um, every Wednesday I do a live. I'm more than willing to help, so you can always just message me and ask me any questions you want. I will help. Um, it's... It is a little scary when you start posting. I will, um, going on the side side, I was like, oh, I'm scared, let's do this. <laughs> but you have to, you have to post. Um, and don't be scared, man. There's so many and nice, amazing people in this group that will support you and cheer you on and help you if you get stuck. And I'm definitely one of those. So I want y'all to do good. Um, I love that. I love seeing other people succeed. So um, I will see you guys soon. Thanks for hanging out. I will probably jump on, um, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. I'll see how it goes. Possibly tomorrow if you guys wanna hang out. Um, and anytime, actually anytime you're just bored and you want to hang out, just head on over to the Sippy Tour community group on Facebook and tell me, please, um, please go live so we can hang out and we can figure that out. So, all right, guys, have a great week. Happy Tuesday, um, lunchtime, and I will see y'all soon.